Welcome back, and how great is this? We have the Panthers' first round pick, Xavier Leggett, in the studio with us fresh off the plane. You're here at the stadium for the first time. I just want to know, can you take me through getting that call last night? Oh, man, well, I had just left from the bathroom. <laughs> As I was walking back to the table, then one called me. Well, thank goodness you got the bathroom break out of the way first. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Well, I walk him back to the table. He called me. He like, hey, how you feel about us trading up to come get you? I say, man, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Hey, I tell my people, hey, everybody started boom rushing the table. Because yeah. everybody, we was kind of spread it out. So once I tell everybody, they started boom rushing the table. They all got up in the little huddle. And once they called my name, it was the best moment we could ever ask for. That's amazing. Man, Xavier, so... I was drafted in the first round. I didn't get a chance to come the next day um, to, you know, see what my, you know, my life was going to be like for the next several years. Um, so I had to wait. I had to wait until minicamp. Um, so I was back home just basically, you know, waiting, sitting and waiting. Um, you just got an opportunity to walk around the stadium for the first time as a Carolina Panther. Uh, you growing up watching the watching the Panthers. I mean, just take us through how you're feeling right now in this absolute, like, great moment. Oh, man, well, first off, man, I'm very excited to be here, man, to be in this position. And, man, I say, man, just me, by me being able to come on the first day, uh, just seeing all the fans out there, man, it was they, the high side of they was, man, that just showed me, man, that, that they really happy about me being here. And, man, I want to do right by have you had a chance to talk to, to, to Bryce Young yet, kind of start that relationship going? Oh, man, well, he texted me last night after they picked me, man. He was like, man, I'm very excited to work with you, man. I just texted him back and said, let's get to it. Yes, so, oh, man, they, you know, I know he's a very talented quarterback. He's going to put that ball in there. I got to make them plays for him. Take me through your mentality, like with your mindset, because um, we talked earlier about We've been talking about you all day. But, you know, take me through your mindset and your approach to the game of football. I think the fans would love to know kind of like what makes you tick on game day. Oh, man, really, man, I, I, what I really say what take me there is just the love that I have for the game, man. Um, I say my mindset is relentless. I, I feel like I play with a relentless effort when I'm out there on the field. And, man, um, just, just and on game day, man, I just take it all in. I take me a deep breath before the game. I don't listen to no music. When I go out there for pregame warm-up, I just take me a deep breath, look around the stadium, man, and just take the whole moment in. When the ball's up in the air, you, you go get the ball. Oh, yeah. What's in your mind when you see that ball flow in your direction? My ball or nobody. <laughs> My ball or nobody, man. Oh. That's, that's all I'm thinking about now. Hey, I want to I want to make those plays, man. I want to make those plays about 100% of the time. I know you give back to your community. Um, I saw the video that they posted. Um, everybody's getting to know you. Uh, so, like, what? Who in your life, and you know, inspires you to give back? When I say that, that kind of falls back to my mom. She was really family oriented. We used to have about 14 people in the house, but mm -hmm. I only have two sisters, and one brother. <laughs> right. My all my brother, my friends used to stay with us. My sister friends used to come stay with us. My cousins, them, they used to come stay with us. So just seeing how my mom, how much my mom cared about other folks. That just lady like, just came on to me as well, and man, and, and part of that was me giving back was, and I just know that much, like we didn't really have much when I was coming through there. They still kind of using the same stuff, so I just wanted to bring some new stuff in there, and I'm gonna keep continuing to do that. Well, and speaking of what Stu just said, you talked about the moment that everybody rushed to the table. What was it like sharing that moment with all your family? Because we know that football is an individual sacrifice, but it's also a family sacrifice. Oh, yes. oh man, I'll just say, man, we, we, we always waiting on the moment since when I first stepped foot on at, at Carolina, man. Uh, I'll say it was just a step closer for me. And man, once I took off this year with the ball, man, we knew that this moment was coming. So it was very exciting for us. Are you going to ride a horse to work? Oh, no, man. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't going to ride the horse to work. No. No, nah. why not? Well, just what could you, you place down the street? Nah, nah, just, nah, just nah, nah, hey, in the morning. Hey, not, not before practice. In the off season, <laughs> and I'll see the off season workouts. I might ride that one over right. here without any seats. Just promise you bring video of that. That's all we want to know. Yes. We need to see that. Xavier, we know you have a lot to get to the rest of the day. We want to thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us, and congratulations. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Thank you.